such an asshole. Hello, children. We got a request. If you have a request, you go to assholeconsulting.com. Strap yourselves in. Hey, Cap, I've been listening to your content since the Rule Zero days of 2019 while I was getting out of the military. I'm looking for a video response to make sure I'm not completely insane. I'm military through and through, so I'll start off with the ask and then give you the background. Let me know what this will cost. I'll call it a Christmas gift to myself. Bottom line up front, if the boomers and honestly 80% use this Gen X, you're right there. You're, you're right there. Gen X ain't that much better. We're to step aside. How long would it take to reestablish a productive society? Fully aware, <clears throat> most of my generation is useless too. It, see, that's, that's the, I don't think, I think honestly, between all the generations, we're splitting hairs as to which one is, is the least valuable or most worthless. Uh, I, and if you look at labor force participation, if we were to be scientific or empirical about it, your generation or any younger generation is, is not going to fix it. <clears throat> it's not. For different reasons. Uh, the boomers are over controlling and they were incompetent. Gen X looks to be not really all that different than boomers and same ego maniacal bullshit. You know, look, has Karen and HR gotten better or she gotten worse? Now they've added D. I mean, you look at DEI and woke propaganda and ESG and all this stuff that has nothing to do with whether you run a, a good company or a good product or at a fair price or pay good wages. That's Gen X. That's like a like a vicious form of, of uh, boomer managerial uh, philosophy. So there, that uh, we're not, <clears throat> you could remove us. All right, fine. That bottleneck would be removed. But the younger people, like, that just don't fucking work. They don't show up on time. They're emotional. Um, they are fully steeped and indoctrinated into the woke stuff. I, I'll just, to simplify it, uh, they're steeped in the tradism, where the most important thing is their traits, not whether they fucking show up to work or not. The, the mentality, this happened to the millennials, but I'm sure the Zoomers are doing it too, where they show up and like, well, I expect to work here and we better do something for the environment. It's like, we're an accounting firm. Shut up and balance the books. Uh, but just a, I would say for the younger generation, not even necessarily their own fault, but a complete demoralization where they're, okay, fine. And yeah, they're always BHR. Yeah. I'm sure there's always going to be some tyrant boss that wants you to commute, but who the fuck's going to show up to work? That'd be the, and there's a, a not only the competency crisis, crisis, but an absolute skills shortage is just getting more and more acute. If you don't believe that, go get my book, A World Without Men, where I, I, yeah, okay, obviously it's critical of women, but I look at the guys, I'm like, guys, we, <laughs> we ain't going to have electricity pretty soon. Uh, so I don't think to reestablish a productive society, no, it won't. It, it, it won't. There were just infinity. Uh, infinity. Well, it won't happen. The The people, regardless of generation, would have to become productive, self-supporting, not uh, having a wrong philosophy based on trait-based politics or woke politics or what I used to call crusaderism. You want to see how good I was? It's God. That's like a 15, 16-year-old video I did called crusaderism. You could look it up. I was young and pretty then. But where you, you just – your your traits and your socialist politics is all you need. And that's what's going to put food on the table and generate electricity. Uh, until that's all gone and we get to work harder, work faster, and work more intelligently and produce more stuff. Till we get to that. <clears throat> oh, and stop being a whiny little bitch and collecting government checks all the time or living off your... Until we get to that, there will not be a productive society. And... So the the Americans, if there is going to be a future America that is productive, those Americans have yet to be born. That is that is well into the future because I don't believe generation have the school started teaching generation alpha about hard work, discipline, responsibility, production, balancing your your checkbook, doing taxes. Have they taught them anything prior, or are they just? And you know the answer to that, teachers are Democrat. 
and they don't give a shit about training the kids for any kind of practical success in life. It's all about boo hoo hoo, be a victim. So, <clears throat> no, the the uh, generation wouldn't matter if X boomers, millennials, it doesn't matter. It, well, no one's going to show up to work. I'm younger, 30s. Uh, years old, foolish millennials, the above generation say, and infinitely more motivated than either of the prior generations. I served eight years in the active duty service before I medically se separated. And you do have a bad, you're not, you're not, oh, I got a paper cut. That's $3,000 a month for me, please. Uh, you actually are a disabled vet. After, ex 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 after exiting the service, I knew I wanted to move overseas and not have to deal with the degradation of what was the greatest country on the earth. I work uh, as a contractor doing kind of a cool thing uh, for the government. My foreign W-2, I take full advantage of the foreign earned income exclusion, has promoted me no less than uh, many times, again, I don't want to mention numbers here, many times in the last few years, because quite frankly, the boomers and most of the Gen Xers suck at everything. Yep. <laughs> Look here, here we at this point we may as well dispense with the generations. Look, every American alive today, except for the handful of the World War II generation, y'all suck. Every generation of Americans today fucking sucks. And if you are frustrated and angry, go get the book uh, "Curse of the High IQ." That's really what it is. You take IQ, which is intelligence, and you add a work ethic. Holy shit. Because there's some incredibly intelligent people, but they're just worthless, lazy pieces of shit. Look at pretty much every professor out there. I mean, they're not dumb. They have high IQs. They're just lazy sacks of shit. <clears throat> but yeah, I can I can imagine. Gee, I wonder if I'd ever been in a situation where I knew what was going on and all the higher-ups didn't. I wonder if that ever led to a housing bubble. Uh, I doubt they're serviceable. Full of... Look it up. Uh... Don't worry, though. I'm currently building my own companies using this job to train me for free without them knowing what that's what I'm doing. Um, do, 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 more stuff about your job. I don't need to know. Why is simply coming to work, learning new skills, not gossiping around the water cooler, saving, investing more than you spend, and not staying loyal to an employer, not loyal to you so hard for the prior generations? I'm at a loss. They weren't trained that way. Look, the base operating setting of humans is laziness. That's how we survived in the past. And if you don't train through parenting and schooling and education or just logic and philosophy, like, hey, if you sit on your ass, you're going to have a shitty life. They're going to go to that base programming. Nothing will, nothing will get them out of that. And in times past, starvation would have. Death, cold, homelessness, and hunger. But you got every liberal Karen out there trying to, oh, help the poor. Oh, help the homeless. It's like you're just enabling them. You're, you're making it worse. You are making generations of poor people. Let them suffer once early on, and then they'll get off their ass. But that's why, generally speaking, Democrats create you, or leftists, depending on the country you're in, created a welfare state so that people didn't have to work. It's ruined their lives. It's made them poor. It's made them the, where the, the peak of their day is a drug, whether that's booze or Xanax or uh, harder substances. But that's it. There you go. Now where I'm weak, and here's where it goes. I do have, as you call it, a parasitic benefit in the form of VA disability. I would not call it parasitic. You actually got injured, like a legit injury. Uh... I'm on the brink of wheelchair status. This makes up for one sixth of my income, which is also tax free uh, to the tune of a certain amount, which I won't say. So you could live off of it. I mean, if you live cheaply. <clears throat> yes, I'm surrounded by idiots out here, and I'm tired of working with government officials. The vagina licking minority worship requirements that we must take annually, mind you, and whenever a high ranking officials F up, are becoming overwhelming. I couldn't stand the ineptness any longer, so I started a coaching business, answering all the questions I get asked uh, by the people I work with daily. That's where my bluff comes from in because I can't stand the nonsense any longer. 
I know there is no way to remove the boomers and useless Gen Xers without. Fun. Oh, look, by the way, don't don't worry. There's a couple of generations that are coming along. Don't worry. You, the, what was it? The, what Jesus said, the poor will always be with you. The idiots will always be with us. Don't worry. There's younger idiots. They're coming. <clears throat> so this is purely theoretical. Additional content. I'm a problemologist, problem solver, and a fixer, so I always have issues with letting sleeping dogs lay as they say. I grew up poor in a trailer park surrounded by meth heads. Demographics, I'm the most hated demo in the United States. Uh, white, straight male, blue-eyed, blonde hair. Oh, and you're short, too. How dare you, sir? How dare you be short? Uh, male with a work ethic. School always bored me, and I was sent to college and high school. <clears throat> I rarely showed up for classes, but graduated with a 3.93 GPA. And you graduated very highly in your class. Sad state of the education system. I took a multivariable calculus in school. I became a net worth millionaire this year, about two months ago from today's date. I wasted my 20s buying stupid shit and getting $60,000 in debt because I was going to be a trader, bro. What a joke that was. I'm much better at investing now that through blunt force trauma and studying the market supply and demand concepts. <clears throat> I did this in three years just by working hard and my veteran parasitism helped. Minimalism also helped a lot. Yep. I also love hiking and do as much as possible before I get confined to a chair. I date foreign women exclusively because the U.S. is lost. I'm currently dating an Eastern European woman who could be the mother of my children. Before this happens, I will have my protective legal structure set up so I own nothing. Boy, ain't that the truth. I um, I know they always say go over Z. I'm not, I'm not against it. And, and, by by and large, that's only that's the only no, it's not the only solution, but it's the main solution right now for men in the West is if you want to have a family, you're gonna to have to go to the East or a non-Western nation. But man, I have not heard one I've not seen one good thing come from Eastern European women. Not one. They're all they were all scams, all of them. <clears throat> I really like the concept of an asshole consulting style. Oh, I skipped ahead. I go to the gym uh, early on, three times a week and five times a week when the training schedule slowed down at work. I've listened to The Fourth Turning and Ray Dalio's book, which have helped shape my opinions. I have also listened to all your books and can't wait for your newest book to be in the audio version. I really like the concept of an asshole consulting style video segment for veterans in general, but I'm unsure how to get the concept off the ground. My YouTube channel, I won't mention because I don't want to identify you, <clears throat> is only sitting at 253 subs, uh, so the impact isn't quite there. Yeah, how much time are you putting into it? I, I mean, I've had this channel for over 10 years now, and before that, it did ask or, uh, uh, Captain Capital. I had a blog I started in 2004. I put as much effort into that blog as I would a, a doctorate degree. Now, a lot of that was because I was working at banks and banks are just headed up by the most incompetent fuck ups. So there was all this extra time in the world to go, you know, right. But it was still a lot of effort and work. I mean, 253, you 25% to monetization, but yeah, you just got to keep doing it. I know this is just because I'm not posting enough. So that is something I'm working on. I have a rather audacious goal of reaching 500 subs by the end of the year, two weeks to go. Yikes. I, I don't know, man. It sounds like you got a real special niche uh, in your military contracting. And you you got more money than me, a lot more money than me. I don't know if, honestly, I don't know if YouTube would even be worth your time. I don't think if you need, I don't think you need YouTube to do the consulting. Like, aren't, aren't your clients right there in front of you? And when you, I mean, you set up a website. Sure, you could have a YouTube channel if you want. But you have a website. Here's my consulting company if you need to contact me for a follow-up i charge this much an hour and I, I i don't know exactly what your field is as a government contractor but that's got to be a narrow market so i don't know if a broad platform like youtube would be necessary unless you used it as a tool like yeah i got some training videos up on youtube <clears throat> love the concept of the paid slap consultant you mentioned in your very minimalist christmas episode also Thought there should be an army MOS for slap officer to knock some sense into these worthless senior officers and non-commissioned officers. Wouldn't that be the drill instructor back in the day? You inspired me to become an author and I self-published this year. Hit bestseller on day one. I think the book needs a revision because I'm perfectionist in a lot of ways. It took five drafts to create this email. I 
I think I've given you enough context and information. Go hard on this topic, so I'll stop rambling now. Huge fan. We'll keep you anonymous. <clears throat> yeah, okay, that wasn't too much vomit. You were very succinct and well written up front. I'm, I'm going to save the vomit um, the thumbnail for a different video. I'll just change this one. What the hell was your question? <laughs> what the? What was your question? Just to have me read this? What was the question? Oh, you said... Uh, Okay, I guess you asked the philosophical question about Gen X and how long would it take to reestablish a productive society? Well, let's just put it this way. Once the society, the old society was destroyed and people died of starvation because critical systems and complex systems failed and no longer worked, uh, whatever remained of society would be a productive society because they'd have to be, otherwise they would die. So a productive society will inevitably come from the ashes unless everyone dies and there's no nothing comes of, you know, everyone literally dies, <clears throat> but it's not going to be any of the Americans alive today. We'd have to go through a great depression type, uh, followed by a world war two to humble everyone. So they knew what was really important in life. And we'd also have to get rid of the welfare state, but we're not going to do that. Um, cause too many simps and too many women love it and need it. I'm sorry. That's just how voting goes. Don't really, oh, women aren't all. No, you're right. They're not. They aren't all, but 63% do vote Democrat. Um. Yeah. Otherwise, no. You're you're doing fine. If you had like a, a question on the consulting advice, yeah, I would do it. But I, I YouTube takes time, man. And if you already got your audience there and it's a niche, I would just do the. I guess you could do. Something similar to asshole consulting, but bitch slap, uh, bitch slapping officers. Uh, where I'm sure the enlisted men could send in their complaints, and you could read it, and then maybe officers would listen. Maybe I don't know. I wasn't in the military, but I don't know if it even be worth your time because if you're making the money you are making now, I'd be more like. Okay, enjoy life, have fun, uh, enjoy my hiking before I'm permanently crippled, and just do it more for fun on the side. So there you go. That, I thought it was, maybe that was a different. Yeah. All right, that's it. <clears throat> more on the way. We'll see you guys later. Oh, wait, is my internet all bad? Is the, is the internet bad? <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later, toodles.